to the little guys. Hey folks, why don't we talk about CCM motorcycles? British vlogger here, Luke Rides, one of, the, one of the top vloggers in the UK. Yes, his channel is tiny. It will grow. It will grow over time. Don't knock it. Don't knock it. Excellent! <laughs> what a decadent old thing. Nobody fucking uses it. Why is it still there? It's not proper. It's not proper. I'm gonna have a rant over telephone. That actually sounded quite British, didn't it? <laughs> Luke Rides. Luke Rides! I went uh, to see CCM Motorcycles for the factory tour. Hit it! It's showtime. Just cue the music. Tell me why! So we got walked up the stairs, we got to see like pictures of the some of the like original goings on of CCM before they moved into their new factory. Excellent! <laughs> and talking about a lot of the history behind the beginnings of CCM, um, the beginnings of the bikes, we got we got show some of the original bikes, 250s. Four fifties. Before CCM began using the Husqvarna engines, the Husqvarna single six ninety. Or uh, well, you mean Husqvarna KTM? That's what you really mean. You little ripper! <laughs> and some of the original engines. Um, they're actually BMW engines, which was interesting. Um, BMW engines when back in the day when you were racing it was it just to you and I it wouldn't make sense but you know that's just because we've so used to having the, the rear brake lever on the right and the gear shifter on the left the original CCMs they didn't have that they had the gear the gear stick on the right the gear shifter on the right side but the brake rear brake on the left side so the opposite way to modern motorcycles. You're a goddamn superhero, you! CCM motorbikes. Competition bikes. Excellent! <laughs> They're talking about the suspension, gearbox, history, where these bikes went. So they actually kept the original bikes, we got to see them. They were really tidy. Ooh. You can see that they literally get how you put it? They get, they get, they get a bit of a clean every so often. Maybe a polish every so often. But looking at how immaculate the original CCM bikes were, I mean that was literally, uh, yeah, very clean. The original dirt bikes. And then we were gently escorted down, back downstairs. We're talking about um, a couple of the original Spitfire prototypes. You get talks about the history of a couple of the prototype bikes downstairs. Excellent! <laughs> and then, you know, in a nice way, and I love the story about the uh, fighter pilot. It's the truth. And this was a bit of a, this bike was a bit of actually a bit of a, a bit of a respectful, like, celebration of, of him. <laughs> there are little areas of the factory. And uh, we weren't allowed to call, record. Well, they said if you if mine, please don't don't record it. You know, nice and f nicely though. I mean, it, just in a nice, polite ma way. Excellent. <laughs> well, they don't want their competition. Let me put it this way: seeing how CCM motorcycles are built, because if you're a competitor, you take that and go, ah, well, let's just build bikes like them, and then that wouldn't be good for the business. And you know, CCM, what can I tell you? Straight away, they are not corporate. -y. Thank the Lord! And that's a brilliant. CCM, 
do not change don't be corporate don't be this whole generic sentences generic responses be personable be like that and you, what you'll do is you build, help build up a really loyal client base. You'll do really well in this industry. Don't get corporate -y. Even the uh, social media CCN, Mr. Lewis. Hello, Lewis. Shout out to Mr. Lewis. Whoa. You are doing a good job with the social media. Good job indeed. And it was actually through Twitter uh, that we went up to see CCM. So you walk. That actually sounded quite British, didn't it? So we started out going actually to see some of the prototype Spitfires and it was really interesting. They talked to us about how the bike went through development. Excellent! The prototyping, how it first went in suspension. We actually got to see the first prototype of the Spitfire and the Scramblers. Whoa. Nice and easy and personal and then we're shown around the workshop and you actually got to see the bikes being built in different stages to complete the bikes Excellent! <laughs> to a bike that had just been ordered and you literally could see the frame and the chap building the motorcycle by hand <laughs> Amazing <gasps> I met up with legendary Moto Tingle You need to check out his channel some more because the content is really interesting. Excellent! <laughs> he actually gives you some really good advice. That actually sounded quite British, didn't it? And also I met up with XT Donkey. Anybody who watches these videos, welcome back. Hey, Tommy! <laughs> Which is really, really good. Really good. Nice man, top vlogger, he is, to me, if you ask me to vote for the best vlogger in all of Ireland, XT, you get my vote, that's how good you are. <laughs> Easy to talk to, nice man. Excellent! <laughs> also met up with uh, Maya, uh, who is a Twitter user. And then there is um, Green Bus 66. And he is a racing rider. He wins races, he gets winning races, and he actually rides a pretty interesting race bike. Excellent! <laughs> and um, we all got together and went over there for a factory tour of CCM. Our answer is. And then we left, and, and what was brilliant is that it wasn't about who, who, who we want the biggest vloggers. Think about the little people. The little people actually make a difference. Excellent! <laughs> they actually make a difference, and that is Motor Tingle, that is Luke Rides, XT Donkey. Excellent! <laughs> yes, they're a small brand, but they're growing. CCM Motorcycles. This is why you were chosen. Because a strong man who has known power all his life may lose respect for that power. But a weak man knows the value of strength and knows compassion. Thanks. I think. The little rascal has spirit. As was it? This is the end of the trail for me. Thank you. Thank you, kid. Yeah. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be right back.
I'll be back. 